let's take a look at 1.3 okay 1.3 what is happening let's take a look an athlete calculated that if he increases his current speed of x kilometers by 5 kilometers per hour he can reduce his time by 12 minutes he will be participating in the city marathon which is 72 kilometers long determine the value of x okay so we have some words <laughs> we have some words here and for some way somehow we need to put this into equations and solve the problem uh 1.3 the last question equation one it's always a bit challenging right but let's take a look and see what is happening so his speed initially his speed initially is x right uh i think this question <laughs> uh if you are doing mathematics and history you probably get it wrong what is the probability that you're gonna get this question right if you're doing mathematics and history well maybe one two people will actually get it right we're doing history but if i had to place a bet, people that are doing history will get this question wrong so the speed initially is x and then when we increase the speed let's say uh speed with that uh note there on top um we increase it to x plus five kilometers per hour okay and then at the time we reduce the time by 12 minutes when we increase it to um to x plus five okay so what is the time initially what is the time initially when the speed is x what is the time when the speed is x and what is the time when we increase the speed to x plus five okay let's think about that let me just drag this down let me just drag this down so the time well we know that distance is equal to speed multiplied by time so time is equal to distance divided by speed so the time when the speed is x is the distance which is 72 right divided by x okay and then when the speed is x plus 5 the time will be 72 the distance divided by the speed which is x plus 5 so let's also differentiate this time because they're not going to be equal to each other but we know that we reduce the time by 12 minutes when we increase the speed to x plus 5 so t minus t prime should give us 12 minutes t minus t prime should give us 12 minutes but our speed is in kilometer well not our speed our distance is in kilometers and our speed is in kilometers per hour so we need to convert that to that 12 minutes to hours so 12 minutes to hours so 12 minutes uh, divided by 60 we convert it into hours all right so 12 over 60 that is 0 0.2 so we decrease the time taken by 0 0.2 hours when we increase the speed by five kilometers per hour so t the initial time when the speed is x minus t prime when we increase the speed by five kilometers per hour should give us 0 0.2 hours okay because we reduce the time by that much so what is t uh, 0 0.2 okay i'm trying to write here facing an issue 0 0.2 okay so t is uh, okay <laughs> i don't know what's happening but for some reason i can't write anymore i'm trying to scroll but i can't on this side i can scroll but on this side i can't scroll anymore um okay uh, okay i think it's fine now so t 72 over x t prime 72 divided by x plus 5 is equal to 0 0.2 okay so when you have this equation it's just a matter of solving for x right and in doing that you will end up with x being equals to x being equals to 40 right uh, how you actually get from a until x is equals to 40 is really up to you how you choose to manipulate it but you have to end up here one way or another there we go